I'm Nina La Negra, and I'm sitting here in the Tom Tam Healing Center, and I'm talking with the founder of the Tom Tam Healing Center, Mr. Tom Tam himself. He has a fascinating story, and we're going to talk about future medicine and how all this came to be. Welcome, Tom. Thank you. So on the medical study, and we know the body has the two functions. One is a chemical function, they call the biochemical function. Then another one is the electrical function, they call the bioelectricity function. So on these two functions is the West medicine or called the modern medicine or the science medicine. Nobody pay attention on the bioelectricity. So if you not pay attention on the bioelectricity, this means we miss half. So we get the disease, then we may be from the biochemical our balance, or maybe from the bioelectrical our balance. So if we not put the two together, so we only do half. So in the medical study, we know 70% of the disease, they don't know how to do it. So why? Because they miss the part they call the bioelectricity. So in the modern medicine, they miss is the bioelectricity study. In fact, many college, on the medical college, they skip the bioelectricity. Then you can look in their book, in the index, on the last few pages, they do not have the bioelectricity. I talk in the bioelectricity. So many experts on the website keep coming to laughing at me. The beginning is a Chinese doctor. He, from Tough Medical School, he told me not such a thing have a bioelectricity. I talking to him in Chinese. He said in Chinese, no such thing called the bioelectricity. Then later, I asked all the expert people, doctors, or nurses, have you learned the bioelectricity in the school? Not yet. So we have the, a lot of biochemistry, PhD. You never see the PhD on the bioelectricity. Acupuncture is getting popular in America. I think now it's about 14,000 licensed practi practitioners in America. In New England, it's uh, still around 1,500 people practice acupuncture. So they cut the vein, keep glowing, glowing. Why they keep glowing? Because in the West medicine, 70% of the disease, they still have a hard time to treat. So the people don't believe. So we give you one example. Like any type of autoimmune system disease. Any autoimmune disease, so far, the West have a hard time to treat. It. Like MS. Diabetes 1, Hashimoto disease, or Crohn's disease, Clydus, asthma. So many things relate with the autoimmune. They may control the symptom, but they cannot get rid of it. So the treatment is usually for control, not for cure. So because even though they, they control, a lot of the time they cannot control either. So that's why the alternative medicine or complementary medicine keep growing in this country. Why? Because the people, any people, on the instant is looking for the healing. So if one medicine not heal, then they look in another medicine. But another medicine, they are not the science studying also. For example, like acupuncture, the science, you cannot prove it. Why? Because they use a meridian system. The meridian in the body, you cannot see it. You cannot detect it either. So this is only a theory from a few thousand years ago in China. So we have so many systems. But that kind of system, we cannot deny the human result. But we still wonder what is their human way or percentage. So, in my practice, I use the Chinese medicine going into to the science system. This means I'm not use the meridian system. 
I use the nerve system. So the nerve, you can see the nerve, you can detect it. So the nerve system for acupuncture or for any healing is more scientist than the traditional way. So as an acupuncturist, then you don't use the meridian system, you use the central nervous system for the healing technique that you do? I use any type of nerve system. And I wrote one article, they call a forgotten nerve system. So for example, we have the flannous nerve. Flannous nerve, this, in my theory, any cancer patient their flannous nerve can be blocked. So in the study or in the practice, nobody use the flannous nerve for the healing. Or even though they in the surgery, a lot of time they by mistake or malpractice cut the flannous nerve out. Tongren, tuna, acupuncture, qigong, or reiki, this is only a technique for the stimulus. Then the technique for stimulus, you can use any technique. But more important is to find out the blockage. So what does this mean by the blockage? The blockage is very simple. If we believe the bioelectricity, then if you have a bioelectricity, then we must follow the arms law. The arms law does mean that current is related with the voltage and resistance. So you want more or higher current, then you must lower down the resistance. So they kind the resistance in the body, they can cause the bioelectricity on the low current or maybe none. So they kind the resistance in the body around the nerve area. So when the nerve has the high resistance, then the bioelectricity will low voltage or non-function. So they cut the blockage. We can repeatable, can find it in the body. For example, when the people have a breast cancer, we can find all of the breast cancer patients, including the men also, they have a blockage on the thoracic number four. So on the T4, get the blockage. This means the bioelectricity cannot from the brain go to the breast area. So they cause one of the reasons cause the cancer. Mm -hmm. So now this is fascinating what you're saying because one, you're connecting. This is why you started with bioelectricity probably because yes. now you're bringing it back to a, a, like an electrical engineer's perspective, talking about the current and Ohm's law and, and resistance and removing the resistance. That's the blockage, removing the resistance and then the current can flow. Okay. so. That's one thing with acupuncture, putting in needles. That's another thing with acupressure, using your thumbs and palms and all that. But how do you do that with Tong Ren? Tong Ren is a whole nother idea. Tong Ren is a completely the <laughs> idea. In fact, the Tong Ren is the my power. The my is the power. So what does this mean by the my is a power? When our my have the brain wave coming. So everybody believe the brain wave EEG. So the brain wave they already come out from our mind. So this kind of mind all together or everybody have the same EEG then we have a strong power. So they kind of strong power from the belief in Carl Jung's study. They call the collective unconsciousness. Collective unconsciousness, this means a group of people have the same belief, same brain wave. That is a collective unconsciousness. So the collective unconsciousness already exists in the universe. So we, you, they kind of believe they form the power to heal in the body. So on the mind, is a Form, for example, we focus on the T4 for breast cancer. So they cut the T4 in our mind go first. Then on the 
brainwave entrainment go to the patient's mind if the patient accepts it. So when the patient accepts or receives the brainwave from the thoracic number four in our mind, then in their brain, the T4 will function. So that kind of energy can go into their breast area, membrane, or to the nerve system. So it's a very simple. Mm -hmm. This is this is fascinating because yeah. now you're talking about doing a non-invasive procedure, which involves minds linking and communicating and making communication flow through nerves. Yes. The mind all time connect to outside also. Yes. The mind when the temperature change, the gravity change, the noise change. In that the weather changes, our mind can feel it. So if we have the healing energy in a group, so that patient or any people, their mind can feel it if they focus or if they accept it. Okay, so focus and acceptance are key in this entrainment process working in Tong Ren, where you are taking a, a doll, yes. a plastic rubber doll with points that are delineated, and you're tapping on it with a metal silver hammer. Yes? Yes, that is the technique is guiding the practitioner where is the point. And to, later, to focus, to focus. Yeah, to focus. Later, when you already good, you don't need the door also, only use the mind. Why we only use the mind? The mind we call the brainwave entrainment. So the brainwave entrainment is one brainwave past to another one. For example, when the dolphin jump, one dolphin jump, all the dolphin jump on the same time. So this the brainwave pass a message. Then one bird fly, all the bird following. That is the brain wave. One fish swim, then all the fish follow it. So that's all the brain wave entrainment. So in Kaohsiung, they have a story called the 100 monkey story. So one monkey do the then another monkey follow it. So that's in our class, we call the monkey see, monkey do. So they, but they kind of monkey see, monkey do, you must get the benefit. If no benefit, nobody's so stupid or crazy and following. So our healing, the benefit is on the result. So the, talk to me about how you came to these ideas. Is it in observing nature? Is it in observing yourself? Wait, how, did, how did you come to these ideas? Uh, they just by a mistake, you know, a joke. So 20 years ago, I have a student, she's a school teacher. She has a sciatica pain. Then I didn't have a clean needle. Then as a joke, I said, okay, I draw the picture on the paper. I said, okay, let me use the needle on the paper. Then I put the needle on the paper, then a few minutes, her pain is gone. Then they made me think, why? It's a joke only, but they're serious. I said, they must have some energy connect. Mm -hmm. Then there is a beginning. Then on the beginning, I cannot draw the picture by each one. Then we use the paper on the Xerox machine to make the dough, then put the needle on the on the hardboard paper. Mm -hmm. They work. So this means that my is a fair to another one. So that's the patient, when they receive the signal, they will. Then later, on the paper, put the needle on convenient. Then I use the plastic doll, more easier. Then you can carry it, you can put the needle. But, but put the needle is inconvenient also. Then later, I use a hammer. The hammer is for massage, not for the doll, but the same result. Then we have more and more technique coming. But no matter what kind of technique comes, only one thing is from the mind. The mind, the mind. The mind form. And so, so in your use of 
uh, acupuncture, go, going back to that, you're inserting needles into meridians or into the, the blockage, the blockage yes. and, and then it is connecting to different organs, yes? Yes, because okay. they relate to nerve. Right. Yes. Because, so they're connected and so then that stimulation is helping to release the blockage yes but when you're doing tong ren where it's mm. not invasive you are connecting your mind into a collective unconsciousness yes and then that collective unconsciousness is bringing a surge of energy to this point that you're focusing on uh, not really. Okay, help me. Uh, different. <laughs> Number one, when we put the needle, moxa, massage, whatever. Mm -hmm. Put the needle to stimulate the body. The needle is an attack to the body. When the needle attack to the body, then the signal first go to the brain. That means, for example, usually the people put on the hand, the needle attack on the hand, then the signal go to the brain. Mm -hmm. The brain say, wow, they have an enemy attack. Then they send it the bio signal to the needle the area. Army. The army. Yes, then go to fight it, mm -hmm. to chase the needle out, but you cannot chase the needle out. Then right away on the needle area, because it's an attack, when you get a cut, the first thing is that playlist come. Playlist, the blood. The blood, okay. To stop bleeding. The second is the white cell come. Mm -hmm. The third one is the red cell come. Because they need the heal. But they need the gold, same thing. So the brain on the instant, on the unconsciousness, they send the signal to the needle area. So they already set up the signal on the brain going to fight it. Can we direct send the signal by the mind to the brain, to the patient's brain to fight it with the lung cancer, with the arthritis, with ways of blockers. So in the tone rain, they can direct, put in the brain wave, the signal to the patient's brain, let them go to fight it. So they don't need to stimulate, attack the body, then send it to the brain, the brain send it down. So we are direct, send the signal to the brain area. Okay. Does that make sense? A little bit. I'm still a little confused. confused yeah. So, so, but I'm going to get you to help me understand. So when you're doing tongue run, you're tapping. Yeah. Tapping. So, are you creating a pulse? Uh, we form it the form it the, the brain wave. Okay. For example, when we bend it the T one two three four, so in our brain already form the signal T one two three four. So T one two three four, it is the autoimmune signal. So this autoimmune signal from the practitioner's brain already saying when they bend it, they on the same time they send it to the patient. So the patient receives the T1234, but that is the immune. Then they are the patient's brain wave formed the T1234. Then they automatically send it to the body where they need. But is there something about the pattern of the tapping? The, yes. Okay. That is a uh, tricky. Okay. So you must know what pawn where use for healing what type of disease. You're saying what pawn? P O N. P O N T. Uh, P O I N T. Pawn. A point. Oh, sorry. Yes. So what point is yes. is necessary for tapping? But there there is a there's a rhythm to the tapping. So that's what we have the book guidance, mm -hmm. or you can call this a Tomlin's Bible. I call it a lazy bum's healing. <laughs> So they give you Why do you call it that, a lazy bum ceiling? You know, but you don't need to, because the people are so difficult to study. Yeah. The study, you know, in the acupuncture school, now more and more words. They need more and more years to study. Now, even though the acupuncture school, they need to learn, require to learn the biochemistry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the biochemistry completely not relate with the acupuncture. 
in the whole history in China, they do not have it. For the money, for the knowledge, for whatever, we don't know. But at least made the people more difficult to get license. So I call this a suicide. Made it more cost. Then in our way, easy. You don't need to take the biochemistry. You don't need to take meridian. You don't need to know nothing. You just need to know where is the spot. So in my book, write down where is the spot. So you don't need to go to school for four, five, six years. So you just get the book, follow the book. You know how to do it. So not only do you have a background though in, in acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine, but you have a background in electronics, in electricity. My background is really strange. <laughs> <laughs> I never go to the medical school. I didn't finish the junior high either. Not because I'm a lazy bum. Because <laughs> on that time, there is a revolution. So there's no school for my age. So, but I study in heart. So this means I never go to the medical school. No concept bother me. So the Chinese medicine concept not bother me. The West medicine the concept not bother me. So I can do it. Whatever, whatever I think. It. So I put in facts. I put it both together. I use both the knowledge. And I put in my, I developed a new machine. We got the tone rain wave healing machine. And I never go to school to the electricity or the engineer, but I was a, I was an electrician in Hong Kong. But so you, I learned. Okay. I bought a lot of book with it by myself. Yes. Then I developed this machine. This machine now we begin and popular. And so the tongue run machine does what exactly? Tongue run machine that is uh, we record, we can record the EEG, the brain wave, then put it on the computer, then send it to the patient. This machine similar like the people use the brain to drive in the car. Now the whole world, all the car company, they research. How to use the brain to drive? So we use the same equipment to record the brain wave. We use the same philosophy. So when we heal something, for example, when we healing the liver cancer, then we record the brain wave to heal and record liver cancer. Then this signal can send it to the patient also. So that is a future medicine because everybody know how to push a button, and all my product we already get it the patent right in America and in China also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And another thing, this machine on the research and the studying is really support from the governor Craig Benson. From which governor? Uh, New Hampshire. Oh, New Hampshire. Yeah, Craig Benson. Okay. Yeah. So I really appreciate his support also. Oh, wonderful. And so, so this really is future medicine because you're talking about techniques that are not invasive, that are require focus and perhaps some ability to meditate. You know, to focus your brain like that. Uh, because uh, most of us, most of us in this 21st century are so distracted by our phones, uh -huh. by our television, by everything happening around us. We can't focus for five seconds. How mm. do you get your, your patients to focus? The focus is confused. The focus, then we have a hard time to understand the mind. The mind in the, the Sigmund Freud, Sigmund Freud's theory have a three different types of mind. We have a consciousness, subconsciousness, and consciousness. So when the people focus, come on, which mind you focus? When you're driving, you watch the highway, you focus. But when you have an accident, some people suddenly cross the street, that is not your mind focus, that is your unconscious focus. So we usually the people do the focus is from their consciousness. 
not the unconscious. When the people getting sick, they they can focus from their unconscious. So that's completely different. So the unconscious mind, it is a human power also. So, for example, when we get a cut, when we have the pain, when we stop the pain, that is from our unconscious mind, not the conscious. So, no matter how busy the people they are, they don't need on the focus with the、uh, conscious. They already focus with the unconscious. So, that's the, the concept different. So we believe, for example, now we are another deeper one is on the fear also.、Mm-hmm. Now we have the class to healing cancer only. On that kind of healing cancer, or each cancer patient and their family, they have a lot of the fear. The fear is for survive. They can fight or fly. So when the woman on the fear. Her energy can lift up the whole car. When the human on the fear, they may kill the tiger also. So if they can we use this kind of energy for healing, not only the patient have a fear, then their family have a fear also. True. So last week in our we call the anti cancer. Class, we have a seventy people. So we are one man. We can get seventy people. If the cancer join our class, that is a too serious. You cannot say it is a possible. Then I ask one question in the class and、uh, the last class. Did anyone get a bad report from their doctor? Get it worse? Nobody. So this means our healing rate. I must say, cure rate, healing rate, is more than ninety percent. Okay. So how do you document your healing rate or your cure rate? Ah,、uh, the Denny Farber, and they come here to do the survey. It's、uh, from Doctor Amy Sullivan. That's six years ago. In their study, the survey is eighty-nine point something. So that's eighty-nine. The effective rate, because they're not allowed to say cure rate, because the cure rate is argued. Some doctors say, "Oh, five years survive." Now you hear, does not mean five years you're not coming back. Right. Then another doctor not agree five years survive rate. They put it on ten years. So which one you go to follow? So they're not allowed to say cure rate. They only say effectively. Oh, you doing better?、Yeah. That is a good result. Sure. Well, I think I heard you talking one time about a doctor telling someone that they had maybe pancreatic cancer and they had a few weeks, and then and I think you were talking about this cancer class, and then after the the experience with Tong Ren, they had extension of a few years. And so、oh, that is a famous guy story.、Mm-hmm. That is a friend. Friend, he is the CEO from the Una Pizza. So he's the CEO this year. He retired, and he have a pancreatic liver. Now only these six years. Then of course he do the mild and the, the chemo and whatever. But last week we have one guy, old guy, eighty something years old. He's one year survive and no chemo. So in the class, a lot of people try to put our patient the credit on the chemo or vitamin. In fact, in our class, some people do the chemo, some people no chemo, some people completely give up by their doctor, or even a whole bunch of people, whole bunch, the people already go into hospice. I mean, any minute they can die. They can die, right? So. In the class, we have a whole group of people. After a few years, still not work the hospital. They have not gone. No,、mm-hmm. and they driving and they going back to work. Okay, so they were that they were pronounced ready for hospice and they have never gone. They've come to class and now they're going back to work. 
last last Friday, I have a patient. He is a professor from Clark University, Worcester. Mm -hmm. Because there's no privacy, the school, the college, put him on the summertime, put him on the newsletter, say he died. <laughs> okay. So they kind of people, now he gave me back 40 pounds, he have a melanoma. Okay. Now, going back to work and teach again. He didn't die. No, yeah. <laughs> someday. <laughs> yeah. Someday, someday everybody's going to die. Right. Right. from the hospital, mm -hmm. going back to work. Oh, he was he, in hospice. No, already on the newsletter. Yes. The newsletter say he go to die. Mm -mm. For the sympathy, for the flower, for the card, whatever. Oh, oh. Now he going back to work. I'm not gone yet. No, someday. someday. You know, like Jesus Christ, someday, you know, yeah, then they report whatever. So they, they, but he was coming to your class for treatment? For the treatment, we opened the blockage. We have the detail of the signal. Tell the people where you go to connect. So this is why our system different than any system. And we are beginning getting more popular. Tom, I'm a new patient at the Tom Tam Healing Center. I have cancer, I have breast cancer. What can the Tom Tam Healing Center offer me? Where can I go, what can I do, what can I use? When the people, for example, any people have a cancer, what is the first thing they do? Number one, fear. Number two, angry or afraid. Then their fear is not their self only. Their friend, their family give them a lot of advice. Oh yeah, you should take this herb, you should take the vitamin, you should exercise, you should do the qigong, whatever. Eat microbiotic diet. Anything, so many advice. Mm -hmm. So they cut the advice only from the sympathy, not really from the healing. So the people advise you to ask them one question. Have you seen anyone heal? by your way. So that is more important, have you see the people heal by their way. So in our class different, for example, we have 70 people have a cancer in the class. This is so, the class in Haverhill. Yeah, the last week. Mm -hmm. But I think that people keep coming. So the first require is don't believe it. Don't say, wow, Tom Tam, you how good your system, your tongue lane, whatever. No, you just believe, oh yeah, come on, it is a garbage. But even the garbage, if you are science, you need to understand what is behind. So I require the people listen first. Observation, listen. Listen, in my class, I want the patient one by one, one by one to tell the people what is their condition. So you need to listen each one. So you li listen to them, wow, how come everybody, they say, I'm here, I'm good, you know, I'm doing better. Do you hear any negative in the class? Then after the class, then the patient should talk to the patient who already joined the class. What is your experience? How is your condition? So that is mean very, very important for their confidence, for their knowledge. Wow, this guy in the hospital, he healed. How about me? So that is the key. So you don't need to believe. You don't need to pay either. We are sell nothing. Then in our healing class, the first thing we pay attention is the Flanders nerve. Flanders nerve is 1932 in the Otto Warbeck. Dr. Otto Warbeck found out any cancer cell is a lack of oxygen. So Flanders nerve is on the neck, the acupuncture point called the LRI-17. So we need the mechanical, physically open it. So when we do the detect, they're so painful by touch. So the patient first step, open the flanus nerve. Open the flanus nerve, the easy way is by one, two, three minute massage. 
the one to flee mini massage or you can tell our massage people to do it or you can tell all our trained acupuncturists can, can do it or if you buy your book and you find out where it is can you do it yourself yes okay. but difficult to find it but they can yes then first is open the, the flannel nerve let the oxygen go in then after five to ten minutes the opening the blockage the patient feel already feel better mm -hmm. physical and psychological they feel better then another second one is open the sympathetic nerve on the back on the spinal so on the spinal on the colon each colon come out the nerve conductive flame organ for example lung cancer is on the T3 leukemia is on the T1 thymus gland cancer is a T2 breast cancer is T4 liver cancer T9 prostate is on the lumbar so we have all the law we already on the book mm -hmm. then you can follow the book do it so the people join our class not to say to heal themselves. In fact, they can help to heal another people. For example, when the people have a liver pancreas cancer, they cut the cancer maximum in five months, they die. Now we are five years, six years. Will you split, share your knowledge, your life experience to another one? Mm -hmm. Because we are not working for us only. So we look in as a group. We look in as the whole world, whole history, and the next generation also. So that is the purpose. We have the class. You really bring new meaning to the expression, each one, reach one, teach one. Yes. Then mostly our practitioner, most they are the patient before. I, our logic is, when you heal by the stage four cancer, will you go to hell another stage four? Make sense? Yes. Well, that's, yeah. that's like a real bodhisattva. Yes. You know, so that's yeah. beautiful. And, and so if, if I have cancer, I can come to the cancer classes in Haverhill. I can, what else can I do? Can I? No, when the people say, I do not have a cancer. But in America, how many people sell you the stuff to prevent the cancer? Mm -hmm. So they can come to prevent the cancer also. Okay. So not the same way there until I have it. Of course, when any people have any different kind of cancer, they should, or their family should, observation to our class. Our door is open. So you can talk to any people inside the class. And, and so the machines are also available. Now, are you programming the machines yes. according to particular brain waves for particular illnesses? Yes. Okay, so if I don't have cancer and I listen to a, the brain wave of a cancer, mm -hmm. what will that do to me? Uh, this is a really strange logic also. The last uh, 20 years, I teach in the Tongue Ring. On the last 20 years, I have a thousand, thousand of the students or believer in America now one out of three or one out of four the people who diagnose have a cancer in their life in the last 20 years so difficult or I never heard any of our students have a cancer mm -hmm. so 20 years is not a short time we have a few thousand people there's not a small amount number the student I mean then why this group not really have the cancer? Then you are more studying to look at what is going on in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, so we can look at the website and get more information. We can come to the Tom Tam Healing Center yeah. in Quincy, the classes in Haverhill. Uh, we have the called the Tong Lane Station or TomTam.com. They can find our location. Okay. This is the good advice to all of you. Come to Tong You must come and experience Tong And I think you have to at least be aware that it exists. Cottage Street, 15 Cottage Street, Quincy. 
have the sure the dynamics of the people here are so great. That's how part of the healing. Thank you. 
My name is Imaka, and uh, I am from Roxbury as well, and uh, we're brothers, actually. And so, uh, we've, I've been coming six years for the time. I first came here, uh, 
I was diagnosed medically with a stomach disorder. So what, what that meant, I didn't know. And I came here and, and I was treated for probably three to four weeks, coming every Monday to the guinea pig's box. And then that completely went away, that whole disorder went away. Then I have come in the first six years for prostate cancer scare, for, I mean, I'm still going to deal with what I'm with treatment here, which I feel if I did not come here every Monday, that not up with me, I'd be kept in bed. It's a neurological disease, and there is times when I don't feel stable in my whole body. You know, as a dancer, uh, I'm used to feeling stable. Neuropathy is beginning to increase or escalate. And then I know it would have if I were not recovered from the treatment, which helps tremendously. I know that's part of it. So I'm here again, and I've come here for dance injuries. I've had rotocuff injuries, severe tear in rotocuff, completely healed, knee injuries, ankle injuries. I've got whole body injuries that I've come here and never been. I know, I know what this therapy does for me, and must, I must continue, I must continue because I don't believe that it works for me. My name is Mark. Uh, I was uh, referred here by an acupuncturist, and uh, he said to go see uh, Tom because I was having constant uh, gallbladder issues that the uh, acupuncturist couldn't resolve, and the Western, the Western doctors just wanted to uh, take out the gallbladder. So basically, I was looking for an alternative way to uh, help, you know, help the gallbladder situation. Uh, I mean, because the last thing you want to do is get get cut. So basically, uh, I was referred here, um, and I started to see uh, Tom for a while, the Tom Wren. And uh, you know, within months, um, I was feeling much better, and uh, I didn't really need to get my uh, gallbladder removed anymore. So. Uh, Tong Ren is very good, and I've seen it help uh, a lot of issues with different people, cancer, MS, and all types of stuff. I've met people um, that it's benefited them uh, a great deal. Uh, so uh, that's it. That's my uh, take on Tong Ren, and uh, I would try it instead of um, trying to Western medicine on an operation. Give Tong Ren a shot. See what happens before you do it.